Hello guys and welcome back to this YouTube video. If you haven't already, please make sure that you are subscribed and click the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And without that being said, let's get on with today's video. So hello guys and uh, welcome as you probably can tell from the title this is lockdown week five so yes we have been in lockdown for five weeks and possibly another two more to go so what have i been doing since the last vlog which is week four and if you haven't checked that out go and check that one out and also week three week two and week one of this lockdown vlog as you can see i've done a new setup again so hopefully it looks decent for you guys and to be fair it looks quite nice for me to have maybe something projected there in the near future so on monday i did my uh, second ever tiktok and uh, if you aren't following me on there well it's down in the description below and it will be just along here on the screen and um, I will pop the videos in in a minute so you can see what the TikToks are and uh, look out for some more um, because obviously doing uni work, I'm doing that to keep some sane and uh, you know also for some nice stuff to do. So um, that's what I did Monday. Let's go on to Tuesday. Uh, but before I do that, uh, what else did I do? Well, I went for my daily exercise and... Um, yeah, I've been in practically the, from Tuesday to Friday. Um, so, you know, more stuff to come. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Stay indoors. Thank you, Paper Potato. Only busy grocery stores. Thank you, Paper Potato. And if you want to have a better day, you must listen to what the baked potatoes say. Keep your distance, make some space. So, as you can tell, that was my TikTok videos. The first one was the first one I did, and they are all in order. And again, if you want to go and check them out and give them a like and follow me on there, then my TikTok is on the videos um and back just then so what else have i been up to well um if you don't know um i have been reading books uh but not normal books like people would expect i've been reading technical lighting books so um i'm gonna show you four of the books i have been using and uh yeah we're, we're gonna have a little bit of a basically i'm gonna tell you what I'm, i've been doing basically Oh, of course, um, I've now changed what I'm doing. So I'm not doing a dissertation, but I will still probably do that just to keep up. But I am now doing a written report on the uh, project that I'm doing now. So as well as um, doing all this, I'm also doing my uni work at the same time. Now, um, with that, we hopefully are going to do like some different things, but uh, when uh, we do know and everything, I will release that, but until that happens, that's going to stay a secret. So, welcome to the first book. So, this is the first book that I got. This is a book that I got last year, so if you are um, a technician, uh, I will also do a separate video again, and that will be uploaded onto my tech channel. Uh, that will probably be done in the next week or so. Um, but this is the first book and i do have a load more books that i'm, I'm reading uh very slowly during this lockdown etc but this is the first one this was given to me by my landlord in weymouth and um so as you can see stage technician now uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just get you to guys you know to comment down below do you know what musical this is from now if you guys do comment down below um, and I will reveal the answer in week six lockdown vlog of what musical that is. So guys, if you do get it right, uh, I will give you all a mention. Um, so, you know, it's a big shout out to you guys. 
um, and again you know it's really really good so this is the second edition you can get this on Amazon uh, I think about 30 quid but I will have another look now while we just uh, go through it so I'll have a look in a minute and um, so it's a job reference tool and um, it's got part one lighting technician lanterns dimmers and control color effects gobos and effects um, lighting designer lighting the performance space lighting the show and all different websites so you know it's really really worth the money if you are investing into the technical theater world um, etc it has the different kind of like desks um, so we have Graham DMA you got gesture um, which is one that I have used and still to this day I never understood it because that's one of the most complicated desks I do I, I, I wouldn't advise um, if you are wanting to do a theatre show in the future and you can afford um, go for ECT ION but again this will be a separate video and that will be on my tech uh, YouTube account over the next few weeks uh, so guys, if you haven't realised, I do have a tech uh, YouTube account and the description, uh, the link for it is in the description below. Uh, that's basically doing all tech work, etc. But again, this is just a brief showing of you what uh, books I have been reading and what's inside it. Again, for copyright reasons, I can't show you every single thing, but it kind of gives you a good sense. Another one I have also um, got is this one so again another lighting book stage lighting design and in this one it basically has lists of exercises to do so uh, and I will I, I, I give you a, an example of this if you would like to get this book again I will put this all in my description below uh, all linked to Amazon so you can just click onto it uh, there is a book that I am currently thinking about getting. I have read it before, but unfortunately, obviously, due to the coronavirus outbreak, etc., uni is closed, so I gave all my books back because I don't know when I'm going to be able to get back up there to give them back. Uh, so, without that further ado, you know, um, I might look at getting the book, and that is about 532 pages. And again, I will go through all of these books properly on my turns sharp tech youtube account and again that's in my link in the description below but we got using different lighting effects we've got um shorter winter's tale um we've got magic we've got studio we've got li um, lumiere types quiz uh electrical safety so if i go to you know so you've got forward, you've got authors thing, you've got introduction and background. So if you do fancy that, what is stage lighting? Uh, and basically is quite relevant. Um, and then what is lighting design? Seeing is believing is one of the ideas. Um, it's got so many exercises as well as obviously talking. Uh, and then you've obviously got the different lights or in my case it should be lanterns um, and for example it has here different diagrams as well if you're a person that likes diagrams um, of course it does have that so you know if you've ever fancy wanting to know what's in the light there you go um, it is really useful if you like to you know go for it and have a look at stuff again I will put this all in the description below and it does have some lighting plans uh, as well as some uh, so it, it it's basically got some different stuff and where are all the cue stuff and everything now another one I've also got so so far I've got four um, so them two I just really liked and really wanted to get uh, well one's uh, a thank, uh, leaving present and then the other one is just like just a random book that I wanted uh, now this one uh, is one that I managed to find in the university and I really wanted it 
so hence the reason I've got it. So this is uh, Essential Guide, Stage Management, Lighting and Sound. Again, these are all just my um, books that I always like to have a quick look through, you know. You always have them books that you really like to have a look through, etc. So again, in this one it's got uh, the theatre, two production planning, three, uh, which is um, chapter three, which is stage management, chapter four is lighting, chapter five is sound. Um, so, you know, it's got so many different things. It's even got the different types of stages, um, the role of stage manager and everything. So, you know, if you are wanting to go into the stage managing world, um, this uh, and sound, this is a very good book. Again, I got this from Amazon, so I will put the link down below. Uh, again, here is another one. This is the stage management um, book. So, and I would just stop and check. No. Uh, so, this is the stage management essential handbook. Again, I got it from Amazon. Um, and this stage should put the clearest and most practical, comprehensive work on the subject that I have seen. So, it basically, and again, I'll let you know what the main uh, chapters are. Um, so we got the production process, rehearsal period, um, job market etc. So it's got different stuff and it's also got case studies as well so if you are a person that likes to look at stuff then you know um, you've got borrowing forms so you've got different things. You've got budget analyse sheet, petty cast, cue synopsis, uh, props list, um, rehearsal call, rehearsal notes, show report which is really uh, essential obviously for when you're doing a show which include act one act two when up and down and also that's a good point there is an app which i will look at um i won't be getting just yet but again this is all for another video and that will be for my tech account uh, but this is all what i've been reading uh really looking at all this week um and then I have been also looking at some pantomime scripts because I am still currently trying to write um, uh, a show or a musical. So I've been looking at Aladdin, Cinderella, Dick Whittington and his cat, and also Jack and the Beanstalk. So that's uh, one, two, that's four books I've been looking through there. And then I've also been looking through to train books as well, um, which consist of Network South East, so I am looking for that one, and also Southwest Train, so you know, two ones that are really good. So, while I think about it, during this section of the video, um, I am also looking to start doing more recording, and yes, this is a, a GoPro thing that I got from Amazon. Uh, it's not obviously a GoPro, but it's just like a GoPro, so uh, I'll be using that a lot more this week. So hopefully you're going to get some nice footage outside and not just me uh, blabbing on about stuff inside the house. So as you guys can tell uh, by the thing just before, uh, thank you to all you key workers out there that are keeping us all safe. And for you guys, I don't have the rights to this song, but it's a 41 second clip. Uh, but this is so true, and I think Tina Turner would be so proud of this. Um, so guys, this is a big thank you to your keyword. that is for you guys the key workers of this whole country remember you are the best and you are working to help everyone get well and survive this pandemic together so with that further ado what have i done this weekend well i have been shopping and um you know, I've obviously been doing uni work all this week and uh, shopping this weekend and I went to Poundland and 
it definitely seems like it's got busier so you know it's not my words it's not you know anyone else's it's government guidelines please stay at home protect the nhs and save lives and if you do go out please please and i really must enforce this please stay the two meters distance um there were too many people in tesco today that were just ignoring the two meter distance um there was t quite a few people that were ignoring it so please just remember you know two meters distance not my idea governments um but again you know that's what i've done really just went to town did some shopping yesterday did the main food shop today etc and that's kind of it and hopefully and i say hopefully uh this week um will include a vlog hopefully midweek so guys if you want to you know watch out for that please subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video and uh, without being said be ready for next week because next week is going to be lockdown week six yes that's going to be lockdown week six video uh next week so be prepared for that one and without further ado, that kind of concludes this week's video. And if you haven't already, do check the uh, lockdowns before. And I will put them a uh, link to them earlier. And uh, yeah, stay safe, everyone. And remember, there is a light at the tunnel. And if you haven't already, while I think about it, please do make sure that you do follow me on Instagram at Terence underscore tech 2020. The link will be down in my description below. And if you haven't already, please also subscribe to my other YouTube channel. That's Terence Tech um, channel. And the description or the link for it is in the description below. And also, please, please do follow me on, well, like me on Facebook. And also uh, visit my website, both at Terence Sharp. You can find both of the links in the description below. And without further ado, that concludes today's video and do remember as i just said a minute ago there is a light at the end of the tunnel and stay safe everyone and we will see you all next week and i must add if um you do know i'm hopefully going to shoot some outdoor footage with this so it won't look as boring uh, in the next few videos so uh yeah you guys stay safe everyone and again hopefully might possibly do a midweek vlog so if you do want to know if when that's available please do subscribe and make sure that you are um clicking the notification bell and if you are please do comment down below um then you can get a shout out now that idea has come from another channel and i will link their channel uh below or i will let them know that i have took that kind of idea and inspiration from them so you guys stay safe and we will see you next week in lockdown week six.